Hi and welcome to Refugee Youth. Um, today we're here to get to know each other. My name is Ijaba and I'm from Somalia. Hello everyone, my name is Luis and I'm from Mexico City. My name is Mohamed and I'm from Somalia. Hi, my name is Malta and I'm from Germany. Hi, my name is Fatima and I'm from Somalia. My name is Tolosa, I'm from Ethiopia. Actually, I would say I'm from Oromia. From Oromia? And, but what, what is Oromia? Oromia is the single largest ethnic group in Ethiopia. Um, they have been there, they are indigenous people, um, until they were colonized by the Abyssinian kingdom. What do you love about your culture? Um, actually, I love everything about my culture because my culture is me. So I love everything my culture, especially the Gada system, um, the Arecha, and um, yeah, I can't pick one. I love everything. Wait, but what language do you speak? Uh, we speak Afan Oromo. So, which religion do you have? Oromo people have their own religion called Wakefata. In the 20th century, the great powers allocated territories and the map of the world was set. After that, just a few borders have been changed, but still there are many stateless nations that fight every day to regain what belongs to them. Probably the most well-known examples are the Palestinians, the Sahrawi people, the Kurds, and so on. But they are not the only ones. Since the 19th century, the Oromo people have been living under the oppression of successive Abyssinian rulers. But we have been fighting for our dream to regain our identity, our culture, to speak our language without fear, to rule all our own resources. As a result of the Abyssinian colonization, millions of Oromo people were killed, tortured and imprisoned. In 1974, Oromo Liberation Front was established with a mission to lead the struggle of the Oromo people for self-determination and to terminate a century of oppression. Despite their efforts, the Oromo people are still under the continuous oppression of the present Ethiopian government. Nevertheless, we are still fighting to fully regain our freedom, culture and language. We used to have a well-organized system known as Geda system, which organizes individuals into groups that assume different responsibilities in the society. Gada guides the activities and life of each and every member of the society. It has guided the religious, social, political and economic life of the Oromo for many years. It is a system by which the Oromo people administer, defend their territories and rights, maintain and guard their economy. The Gada system are served as the best for democratic and egalitarian political system. Under this system, the power belongs to the people. Well, by itself is uh, a largest ethnic group in East Africa, which lived uh, before a long history. Uh, they have got their own cultural identity, language. Uh, they share the very progressive uh, administrative practice uh, that we call democratic way of administrating uh, its nation. Unfortunately, uh, this nation uh, fall into uh, the hands of the uh, suppressors, especially the Abyssinians, we call, which is actually still continuing. Being Oromo is my identity. It's what I relate to. It's every, It's my being, my inner being, something that has been passed me through, you know, if it's not only ancestral, but just the things I learn about myself, I feel like this is how I become a better person. If you know more about who you are, then obviously you'll do better in life because you have a good grounding. So being Oromo is just about connecting to my identity. It is my identity, that's what I relate to. Oromo means for us, like, you know, it's a, counted as a crime in Ethiopia, like, you know, if you say, like, you know, I'm an Oromo, like the government is like, you know, trying to punish all of our brothers and sisters. So for us, Oromumma or Oromo means like, you know, it's beyond like, you know, a natural birth of being born from this nation. It means to learn your footsteps from your grandfather and everywhere and to learn their culture and to learn more about it and live it in your own life. 
we are the type of people who love people, especially children, and our culture is to respect women, um, elderly, and the youngsters that are upcoming. Because from the elders, you learn history. From the children, for the children, you pass the knowledge to them, and they take it to the to the future. And for the women, because they are childbearing creatures or humans, they always respect women. It's my identity, it's my roots. Everyone who's around me is my family. It's just like you know, it's, it's just everything. Oromo is is part of my life. Uh, it's, it's my origin uh, and it's what I believe in. Uh, for me, it's like um, it's this great thing um, inside you that you can show to everybody, and you and you're part of something. And um, you you had you can have like people from from um, where you are, and you can learn this language that can actually help you express different things. And you can speak to other people um, and go to your country and learn more about them. <laughs> Sabakias, Malum Makia, Ulumagalati, Amagutuna Fakia Jatula, Kanafu, and one Radu Baduka Vichula, Kara in Makiati, Kulkulu, Oromo, Oromo de Chun, Fire, Oromo de Chun, Ada, Oromo de Chun, Senada, Galatova. Oromo de Chuni, Ada of Hikavna, Konk of Hikavna. Bija Kenya Rati Sababa yet onu, um, Ada of Fitre Gudisu, Sababar Badu, um, Oromojachun, and Afkanaja. There were times where we were forced, actually, even deluded to deny ourselves, you know. Uh, we lost self-respect, we lost our values, heritage. So we are trying to get the best out of actually what we have been. And so we are here just to celebrate that one. People should not actually be misguided with the fact that we're coming together. We want to be part of, part of free society. We want to be part of a progressive human agenda. It's not a kind of secessionist or a kind of uh, uh, a small corner kind of project that we are having. We want to join humanity. <laughs> Mario, 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 Bila minaga, bishan bishan kabani naga, bia beran naga, gari naga, malkan naga, namni naga, kami naga. Go gari sini aku, go gari aku tu nuaku, dia kenyang tiga lelai nama aku, patu nuaku. Amin. Kerana jadi na nurra fagesi, kerana lafana nutit esi. Amin. Sabar kenyang warahid aman ijirani, ferdi jadi sani warahid ani fimbawa kayu begum sasa kenne fi sabar kenyang fimbu hikam sah viruf. Amen. Ega yawa kayo muka muka raja itu murtu tenurra kabi. Amen. Nama firar raja itu nama jala la firar raja itu murtu genurra kabi. Amen. Firan gade agan nunariin. Amen. Firan oleh abidin nunariin. Amen. Ya gofta atiga nu ebis yawa kayo. Amen. Ega isahafemo.
ati waqa yu tagu. Kenna kan si tunu kenne nuran furatin. Jolle kenya yawa kayo wara gud wara gudya tanu ebis. Wara tit inno mo ati nagat fayat nu ebis. Mursi mo isanif gargar sa akatanu utuba akatanu degar sa akatanu nu gargar. Waga waga ani mo kan ati debine nagar ans. Sigalat eh fajr akan dendeh nyumo ati nugar gar. Amin. Nuebis. Amin. Ayah nama rupne fanas ayah negari nuha godu. Amin. Amat ne amat abdi sumat. Amin. This is the first time that we are having this kind of event in this country. Hopefully, successive years that we're going to have, you know. will show you how colorful we are, how vibrant the society is, how forward-looking forward, forward looking and uh, dynamic society that we are having. This Recha, what we call Recha is, in simple words, it's a celebration actually, it's a Thanksgiving day. Recha is, in simple words, the end of the winter season and by association and symbolically the end of a dark time and the beginning of spring. Do you understand? The life in the time of the harvest actually where people actually say thanks God, say thanksgiving day. <laughs> I hope one day the Oromo people will fully regain their freedom, decide on their own resources and exercise their democratic system which they brought to this world.